Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell the solutions of exercise 7.1 from NCERT class 9. These problems are based on SAS, AAS, ASA congruence criteria. The first one is in a quadrilateral ACBD, AC is equal to AD and AB bisects angle A. So these two angles are equal. Show that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ABD. What can you say about BC and BD? Here AB divides uh, this quadrilateral into two triangles AB, C, triangle ABC and triangle ABD. So in triangle ABC and triangle ABD, AC is equal to AC is equal to AD. This is given and angle BAC is equal to angle BAD because AB bisects the this angle. So these two angles are equal and AB is equal to AB. This is common side of these two triangles. So here is AS of this triangle are equal to corresponding side angle side of this triangle. So triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ABD by SAS congruence rule. So once these two triangles are congruent then we can uh, equal the corresponding parts of these two triangles. So we can say that BC is equal to BD. This is second problem. In this problem ABCD is a quadrilateral in which AD is equal to BC and angle BAD this angle is equal to angle CBA this angle. So these two angles are equal and these two sides are equal. So here we have to prove that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BAC and BD is equal to BD means this one and is equal to AC and angle ABD this angle is equal to angle B A C. Now in triangle A B D and triangle B A C, A D is equal to B C that is given and angle B A D this angle is equal to angle C B A this angle that is also given and A B is common side for these two triangles see this see here this triangle and uh, this triangle this is the common side. So AB is equal to AB. So we can say that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BAC by SAS congruence rule because side angle side of this triangle are equal to corresponding side angle side of this triangle. Once these two triangles are congruent then we can say that all other parts of uh, these two triangles are equal. So BD is equal to AC by CPCT and angle ABD is equal to angle BAC. If you write these two triangles names in an order ABD and BAC then we can easily write uh, BD is equal to AC and uh, angle ABD is equal to angle BAC. This is third problem. In this problem AD and BC are equal perpendiculars to a line segment AB. So here BC is equal to AD and uh, th these two angles are 90 degrees because these two lines are perpendicular to AB. And uh, here we have to show that CD bisects AB. That means we have to prove that OB is equal to OA. So these two o lengths are parts of these two triangles. So we, we have to use congruence criteria here to congruent these two triangles. Now in triangle OAD and OBC these two angles are vertically opposite angles. So angle AOD is equal to angle BOC. These are vertically opposite angles. Those are equal and uh, angle A is equal to angle B. These two are 90 degrees and AD is equal to BC. This is given. So here angle angle side of this triangle are equal to corresponding angle angle side of this triangle. So triangle OAD is congruent to triangle OBC by AAS congruence criteria. Once these two triangles are congruent we can equal the corresponding parts of these two triangles. So OA is equal to OB by CPCT. So OA is equal to OB means CD bisects AB. This is fourth problem. In this problem L and M are two parallel lines intersected by another pair of uh, parallel lines P and Q. So here we have to show that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CDA. Now in triangle ABC and uh, triangle CDA 
angle B A C is equal to angle D C A because these two are alternative interior angles. See here P Q are uh, parallel lines and A C is a transversal line. So these two are equal alternative interior angles. So right here and A C is the common side of these two triangles. So right here and uh, these two angles are again alternative interior angles of these two parallel lines L and M. See here these two are equal so right here angle b c a this angle is equal to angle d a c this angle so these two are alternative interior angles those are equal so we can say that angle a b c is congruent to triangle c d a by angle side angle so a is a congruence rule